Hello, Nintendo Chit Chatters. I'm Eddie Ray for NintendoChitChat.com. Welcome back to our Let's Create series of RPG Maker Fest on the Nintendo 3DS. This is episode 27. So, a special shout out to NIS Maker for providing a copy of the game. And we are going back into Nandoy Village here, guys. Uh, last episode, we were working on our Brynham Stairs area still. So, I thought this was a little bit of a change of place and go back to Nandoy Village here. I have some things to actually test out here as well. I know we have, I think, the fixed a little bit of collision here on this particular map. We'll start here, do a quick little test play of this. So here we go. All right. I think there's some collision around this house here. I need to actually add some things in um, to prevent the person from getting in there from this back area here. Let's see here. Yep, because you can go right into here, looks like. Oh, you couldn't. Okay, good. I blocked that off. Looks like pretty good. I should put something there, though, just to enforce that, because right now it's kind of weird to walking into nothing, basically. So we'll put, like, a, I don't know, a dirt pile or something else there. <clears throat> Alright, let's edit this map. Cool, let's go up here. And we'll put it, like, right in here. Let's see, what else what do we have? What do we have down here? Some dirt... Okay, we'll do that. That's fine. There's no possible way to get back there. It's perfect. We can actually extend <clears throat> the tile out here, a little bit too, of the dirt path. Let me see. We can do this. Put a little curvature there. Awesome. Fill this in. All right, there we go. Perfect. All right, so that's good. It's blocked off there. Now, we never did put anything back in here. Um, this is the first use of water crystals. I'm going to use them right here to get past this fire so you can access some treasure back here. And I have yet to put anything back there, so let's, again, save the map here. Let's go into items and import something. I've imported a lot of my weapons and things like that. Eventually, I will go into the weapons and change their names, uh, change the descriptions of them, and maybe some of the settings on them, too. Uh, it's a little bit easier to do that. Of course, you can make things from scratch, as you guys know, by now, hopefully. So let's go weapons, or even items. Um, defensive items. Might be a good thing to do. I have a bunch of things here. Uh, Mithril Mail. Now uh, let's add sample. So, what was that? Element. Resist. <clears throat> There's a nice shield there. Bandana. Iron Helm. Iron Boots, Wing Boots, Leather Gloves. We have that. Bracelet, ruby ring. There's lots of things you can choose from here, guys, which is pretty cool. I mean, you can make your own as well, or just tweak these. Um, let's go for the night shield. Cool. All right, let's do that. <clears throat> Call this the majestic. Majestic shield. There we go. Fits perfectly. Cool. All right. Resist. Do 18 with that. Good weapon here. All right. Use professions here. The wizard can't use this. Uh, hunter and hero can. So Davy is our hero. Um, the other boy that we have. I forget his name already. We haven't done too much with him lately. A long time ago, we added him to the game. A third party member. He's a hunter. And then, of course, Amelia. Amy, she is the wizard. All right. Save that. Let's put this um, in there. Just, uh, let's go back to maps. I'm looking for Nandoy Village here. Nandoy. 
we're out there near Nandor. There we go. All right, so let's easy to create this event. We can put it in a crate. Event. Easy to create. Treasure chest. Item. All right, I'm looking for, of course, the thing we just imported. We uh, added this to our database. Yeah, oh, weapon. Oh, a defensive item it is? Yeah. There it is, Majestic Shield. Cool. And let's edit the graphic here. Let's see what we can put it in. Okay, I'm using stock graphics for my for my game, so. You put it into one of these crates again. Been using a lot of crates lately. Um see here. I guess we'll just use this box. This is a nice box. Nice treasure. I think we used this before in a certain area, so we'll use it here. Cool. Alright, so that is good. Perfect. Event content. Let's double check here. Yep, you got perfect. Okay. Nice. So that's there. We're going to play some encounter chips around here as well. It's been a long time since we actually started adding encounter chips. In fact, I've go through a lot of my maps here and do the encounter chips at some point again. <clears throat> Let's see. Cave. No setting here, scorpions. Let me see, no setting. Volcanic wasteland, grassland, rocky cave, sand, dungeon, no setting. We'll do that here, I guess, it's fine. We'll add some more throughout this area too, guys. But for now, that's good. Perfect. All right. Cool. We actually have some here, don't we? Now, those are number fours. Wasteland, that's good too. We could add some number fours. Place them wherever you want, basically, right? Kind of go crazy. Because they're not always going to appear. That's good. All right, save that. We'll we'll actually fill out the, all of the encounter chips here at some point. I'm um, just kind of throwing some things around there. But the main thing I want to do is get that um, treasure chest in there. So let's go to edit map. That's great. So we have that there now. Perfect. Right. This church here. <clears throat> we can actually make this church kind of gated off or something like that, too. Like you shouldn't be able to get in there at all. Let's see here. We use the gate down here. I think it's down here. There it is. Yep. No way to get in there. And no secrets there. It's just gated off. some of these homes not all of them it'll be like you know 
they've been kind of gating off some of these areas because it's really dangerous. And that sort of thing. Cool. Alright, that's good. Let's go into... What else do we have? Well, there's this treasure chest here as well. Uh, I think it's have some money in it, right? We'll change that out. It's empty. It's kind of tweaking things here. Oops, yeah. Should be gold. Yeah, okay, 30 gold. So we'll keep it there. It was for a tutorial video, I believe, early on. But we'll keep this here. We'll just change it out. There we go. And it's this one. Cool. Nice. Fixing some things. There we go. Awesome. Hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. We'll keep it going for you. Some may be more entertaining than others, depending on what we're doing here. <laughs> cool. So we got that there. Alright. I think just for effect, I'm going to put a few little things on here. Just for effect. What do we have? Let's see here. Put that there. Actually, no, just going to be moving. Later on in the game, you do encounter a skull that does take some uh, MP away, I should say. So let's put these in here, just kind of creepy things moving back and forth. Just for some effects, atmospheric look. Put that there. It's almost like they're swimming in the water. <laughs> Alright, and let's test play this. Take a look at it. From the beginning. Let's go to that um, area here. Cool. Oh, I actually, you know what I forgot to do? I want to put actually movement on them. I don't think I did, did I? I wanted to, and I just didn't do it. Yeah, movement on these. Okay, so movement horizontal. Why can't it move? That's weird. I thought I did not put movement on it. I guess I did. It is because it's a collision. Might be. Uh, let's see. Edit map. And collision. Yeah, most likely because of collision, huh? Alright. You could do this a couple different ways. You could create an empty event, basically. I'll show you. Uh, so do event. Edit event. Alright. So I'll create an event here, keep it blank. Alright, and take this off. This is basically a collision over here, past judgment. There we go. You almost, in effect, create a pathway here. For that. Cool, and then we'll do this down here as well. Save that. Now, they should move in those areas. Or maybe not. Try it again. Maybe we have to add them into that. Right, let me just double check here on things. Uh, edit. So horizontal, fine. Okay. Good. Let me check the map. Oh, I still have collision on it, I see. Interesting. I thought creating an event might take collision off of that automatically. <clears throat> um, if we do this here, it doesn't change anything here, does it? Double check that. 
Uh, cause taking that off is no collision. Uh, edit map. Oops. Undo that. Okay, so yeah, what we have to do then instead, that one's not gonna work. I do want these moving in the water though. Uh, but there's a way around this all. Uh, we can pretty much edit event here. And delete. 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 Now, I didn't have to delete those skulls, so I'll put them back. Make a new one. Alright. Oops. Let's do the graphic. Okay. Come on, skulls. Let's do this thing. Let's make it work. I want them moving in the water. Don't move horizontal. There we go. You know what? I can just copy and paste this one, too. Copy right to here. Okay. So here's how we do it. We go to the edit map. This is one of the tutorial, tutorial video I had earlier. You add some things to the map here. Uh, very tiny things. Just some weed or something into the water. Just a little tiny weed or two. For some collision. If you're worried about having a lot of weeds like that, get the very, very bottom of this vine. Like that. And then to kind of make it look a little bit more natural, we'll throw in a few more weeds here as well, just to kind of sporadically do this. Like that. There we go. So it won't look quite as odd when they're moving around. Can change that to those. There we go. Got some weeds growing in there. Perfect. Okay. So those weeds have no collision on them, so that actually should move those now. I'm hoping. Let's rock and roll. Let's do it. Into Nandoy Village. Cool. There they are. They're moving. Look at that, guys. Got some moving skulls in the water now. Some little bit of work around with the collision, but there we go. It works. Pretty weird, right? Cool. I like that. We could actually put a little um, ladder, like laying across there or something. It'd be kind of cool. Let's do that. We have a rope going down there, that pit. So we could put a ladder across here, maybe, or something like that. Let's do that. Find our ladder. A little wooden ladder here. Okay. Actually, at the very bottom of this here. Put it there. This ladder will go in to here. Um, actually, we'll do that. Right. What I'll do, I will go to the Brim Stairs area here really quick. <clears throat> I'm going to copy that event over with the um, other skull and make it the same thing in here. So this event here, edit, we'll copy the other map and go to Nandoy. All right. We'll put this right here. All right. Works. Let's go back to Nandoy Village. All right, here we are. We'll delete this guy. Oops. We're still in the menu, I believe, for uh, copying and pasting. Delete that out of there. Cool. We'll make... I didn't want to do that. Go to edit <laughs> the event. Jeez. Okay, edit. So it's moving uh, slowly. Edit content. Full party loses 10. Wonderful. All right. Here, they're not going to lose as much. <clears throat> they're going to lose just five. But as you get into Britain, science, you lose 10. So there we go. Five. Full party. 
and we'll change the subtitle. Minus five. Confirm that. And there's no switch on this, so we should be good to go. It doesn't turn off. It's just one page of content there. All right. Now let's uh, edit map. All right, find that weed again. Or two. Let's see, we'll use um, that and that there. Cool. Probably could put a little more weeds here. Like that. I'll show you why. We'll put a little item out here then too. Okay. That's cool. Let's move this guy a little bit. Move to here. Awesome. Let's see how this looks. Test play. I can put a little box or something out there with an item inside. Nothing too significant here. Maybe like a charm fruit or something like that. All right, come down here. Kind of freaky. We do have to remove the collision. So I walked into the fire there, so we'll quit out of that. Need to work on the collision uh, for this ladder here. Actually, yes, yeah, right. Turn the collision off for the ladder. Oops. Man, butterfingers today, guys. Uh, collision, there we go. Cool. Making you be able to walk in the ladder. So you can walk in any of these areas here with no square. So we can put it up here. That's cool. We'll put it over here, though, I think. Yeah, put it right there. Cool, let's make a new event. Easy, create. Treasure chest. All right. So you're going to be getting... You know what I could do? Let's import another item here really quick. Um, See, so we give him the shield, and that is for the hero. Let's give our wizard something as well. Oops. All right, so defensive items here. a few of these things already. I'm not sure if they're all scattered about. Some are available in the shop as well. Uh, Alright. The accessory, maybe. Nah. Uh, sample. Okay. Cloak. Silk dress. Wizard robe. Saint robe. Ooh. Hermit robe. Wizard hat, leather cape, bracelet here. So this raises the effect. Okay, ruby ring is cool. Ruby necklace, emerald ring, resist. Of course, we can change all of this stuff too. Pretty cool. We'll put an amulet, amulet there. That's good. All right, let's edit this here. I'll go figure. We'll do Madge Amulet. There we go. Confirm. So, Madge Amulet. Majestic Amulet. In fact, we should probably put a little... Period there. There we go. Majestic Amulet. Prevents death. Pretty cool. Alright. That's good. It's fine. Awesome. 
Let's go back to our map. Nandoy. Nandoy Village. <clears throat> right, put a little easy create here. Edit event. And we'll add this puppy into a little chest. All right, so is defense. There it is, majestic amulet. Confirm. Awesome, now let's edit this out. Graphic. Put it into a little satchel, maybe. Um, let me see. What was down there? You could put this is like a little gift, isn't it? We could put it in that too. Um, there's no opening for it though, so kind of like this. It's in here. Change that out. Cool. Yeah, open bag. Changes graphic. Cool. We will change out that treasure chest text as well. Event content. The cloth bag. Or burlap was we'll keep it cloth. Bag was empty. There we are. And of course, there's a sound effect too. We could probably change it at some point. I think it's okay for now. Let's put it there. Awesome. Okay. So moving skulls here. Let's see what these guys do exactly. Well, how many points was it? Was it an MP loss? We're going to change this one out here. This would be uh, HP loss. Fifteen. Affected your HP. Boom. There we go. Fifteen. Okay, so one's 15 for HP, and the other one is 5 for MP, I believe. So a little bit dangerous there. Let's see how it plays as far as if it's easy to avoid that, right? Um, or if it's too hard to avoid it. From the beginning, let's rock and roll. All right. Come on down, I almost got lost here. <laughs> Yeah, we could put it a little bit faster, right? So we'll move the skull a little faster. Right now it is slow. Put it on normal. Cool. We'll copy that. Let's move it up here a little bit. There we go. All right, and this thing looks like it's floating on water, so um, what could we add below it? These planks, I think, too, right? There's planks in the game. Let's see. These are all tables, <clears throat> dressers. I think it's down here. Nope, it's in here. These. There we go. So, it's kind of interesting. Aha. 
So you can do boom and okay, wait, you can boom and then you can do How would you put them together? Okay. Gotcha. There we go. That's kind of cool. Looks a bit better there. A little more aesthetically pleasing, like it isn't not floating a bag on water. I mean, looking kind of weird, I guess, but it's not too bad. <laughs> cool. And we can put uh, this event here. Copy that. Put that there. And we need to edit this. I actually put fire down. And we gotta change the switch out then, of course, too. So we get that. Coming together. There we go. Edit the event. Because if we don't change the switch, it will go out and turn all of them off. Alright, so this is on switch what, 59 probably or something. Whole party. Oh, there's no switch here. Okay. Cool. So they don't end at all. The only one that has a switch is the one that gets put out by the water crystal. So, cool. Okay. That's good. Let's confirm again. Overwrite and test play. So, Nan, do we getting some more secret and some more little areas here to explore? To get these items is pretty cool. We gotta avoid... That one's not moving, is it? Ha! I don't put that. I didn't put it on movement, did I? I guess I didn't. Um, let's do it. He's not moving. Oh, you know what? Let's have be be vertical first off. Uh, the collision again. I almost forgot. So move him to here. And now he should move down to here. Yeah. Just edit the map really quick. I will put collision. Undo that. Put the collision really quick. Add collision on those weeds. So that skull will kind of bounce off of this block here and go up and down up between the ladder and here. Those four spaces. That's where that's where it should go. And that's where it should move to now, as it has some openings with the collision being off in that area. <clears throat> kind of making a little track or path for it to go. Go around this way, just for so. So you have to avoid this at all costs. Ooh. Okay, I have to actually make it go down one step further. Or move this tree. Because we can't get in there. Okay. I will put that collision and take it off. You need that one extra block of space to be able to move in front of it. Now, is it moving too fast? Well, we'll see. Um, test play. Here we go. Nandoy Village. Majestic World. Quest for Darkness. Oh! Oh! I ran into it too early. What's uh, Davy at, by the way? Five. Ooh. And then that fire, you walked into the fire there. I'll test it one more time. You should be able to go up there and I hit the fire. Uh, if you're not pushing up.
Ooh. There we go. Nice. She ran out of energy, that's okay. By this time, they will have some more HP and MP, though, so don't, not to worry, though. Because I'm just kind of putting them here in the beginning of the game, but by now they would have had a little bit more, so they'll be okay. I can always adjust the speed there, too, and uh, lower the uh, hit points. That's cool. All right, guys, so I think that does it for right now, for this episode. Um, again, it seems like we didn't do very much, but we actually did. It takes a while in this game to actually do things. Uh, but so in Nandoy Village here, again, designing some things here... Uh, I wanted to do something on, on this water for a while, rather than something being water here, right? So we have moving skulls, we have an item, we made an item in the other case over here as well today. Uh, that knight shield, now majestic shield we call it. So you can get back there with water crystals to burn out the fire, put out the fire. And we have, of course, the water here, avoid the skulls. That got the uh, really cool amulet, the majestic amulet for Amelia. So pretty much, um, I guess one item per, per hero for there, because uh, Davy will get the shield, he's the hero, and Amelia will get the <clears throat> the amulet because she is the wizard. But before I actually end the episode, let me go back to the items I almost forgot <clears throat> uh, and change that out and select only her to get this. So let's go into the items here. Amulet, there it is. All right, cool. So. Professions, only wizard gets this. And there we go. Save it. Overwrite. And there we go, guys. Cool. So hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, make sure you guys blast the like button. Leave your comments, tips, suggestions. Let me know what you're working on. And hopefully I can help you out as well. We'll see you guys next episode. Bye, everybody.